time changes everything, baseball and weather being no exception. As the Huskers play the Baylor Bears on a surprisingly warm day in May, head coach Mike Anderson hopes his team finds a way to get some wins. He started here 17 years ago, spending the last nine as head coach. And in that time, the teams improved tremendously. He led a team to the College World Series and coached the likes of the Twins' Brian Dunsing, Royals' Alex Gordon, and Yankees' Jabba Chamberlain. But then came time. While Nebraska's talent remained strong, it struggles to live up to the standard that Anderson helped set. For help, he turns to Jamestown, North Dakota native and Husker legend Darren Erstad, a guy whose work ethic coaches call infectious. To understand where he gets that drive, you need to understand the player. Hockey was my favorite sport to play. Uh, I don't think there was ever a day that I didn't enjoy putting the skates on and just going out and playing. And baseball's right up there too. I, but I, I just, there's something in my heart that I've always loved about hockey. I like the cold. I, I just, I love the sound of the ice when you're, when you're cutting. I love shooting the puck. I love the contact. Uh, the camaraderie you have with a, with a group of guys on a hockey team is just, it's just different. After playing most every sport growing up, Erstad goes on to play baseball and football for the Cornhuskers, one of the only schools to recruit him. And it turns out they're on to something. Erstad wins a national football championship in 1994 under coach Tom Osborne and sets all sorts of records for the baseball team, where the assistant coach is Mike Anderson. I was here in 95 and Darren and I had started and, and, and built a little bit of a relationship and, and uh, uh, I got the chance to be his outfield coach while he was here and got the chance to coach him and then continued that relationship. In 1995, Erstad's drafted number one overall by the Angels and wins a World Series with the team in 2002. But now it's time to go back to Nebraska to help his mentor and his slumping alma mater. He volunteers as hitting coach and helps guide the Husker fielders. Darren, I think one of his biggest assets is about how, the way he goes about his business and uh, very determined. Uh, work habits are very good, very prepared. He wants to show our student athletes uh, his preparedness so that they can do the same thing. Erstad says that work ethic comes from growing up in Jamestown. Whatever it is in the culture in North Dakota, it's you, know, you, you get what you earn and you got to put the work in. And uh, people just have that mentality, and it's all work ethic. It's how you go about your business. Uh, if you don't work hard in hockey, you're going to get your butt kicked in and you're going to get flattened. You skate around with your head down, you're not prepared, you're gonna get crushed. He's a very humble guy, uh, you know, from, from the very beginning. Uh, I've had the, the fortune of getting the chance to meet his parents, uh, be around his parents, understand what type of family he comes from, uh, that humility and, and uh, uh, that, that, uh, the great work habits, all those types of things comes from his family. But now it's time to get back to work on Nebraska baseball. The team's struggling and fans and alumni grow impatient. Baseball here, um, probably wasn't on as high an important level as it is now. Uh, we didn't play in this beautiful park. Uh, the fan, fan support, I don't think as many people were interested in baseball. After I left, you know, they had a great run of going to the College World Series three times and it just developed an unbelievable passion for the program and, and now the, the bar is set awfully high and, and they have a great following and it's, uh, you know, it's just been, a, it's been fun to, from a distance watching and now I just want to be a part of it. When you've been successful, people expect great things every single year. It doesn't matter what you did in the past. Coach Anderson struggled recently. And after our interview, the school says it's time for him to go. And athletic director Tom Osborne, Erstad's former football coach, hires him to lead the baseball team. It's the first time Erstad's held such a high position. And while time brings a coaching change, the expectations are the same to win and to play in Omaha in June. I was blessed with an ability to, to work and I've always felt that that prepared me for whatever situation that would come ahead and gave me confidence in the big times where I needed it, you know, needed that confidence and, and I always felt like that prepared me so the harder I worked, the more confident I felt. And the biggest thing Erstad tells his players comes from his time playing hockey in Jamestown. It's a blue collar mentality that leads to Erstad's success. Make plays, be athletic. I want you, I want your, I want your swing, I want your game. So I'm not gonna put you into a system, I, I want you to go out there and play and play fast. And you know, if you make a mistake, it's gonna be an aggressive mistake. Time changes almost everything. Expectations, coaches, conference affiliations, 
But Nebraska fans hope that Erstad's timeless work ethic leads the team back to the top, gives the state a little break from football and something to cheer about in spring.